how much time do you think this car will take for 0 to 60 0 to 100 a lot of time a lot of time mm -hmm. it's not that quick no it's not a turbo engine or it's an old engine bro it's a car for looks but we can try something so anyway let's give it a shot 3 2 1 go Back with another vlog. Today was an hectic day. We started the day off by going to the exchange. Yes, yeah, so sir. Right now, we just came to the exchange to change some Canadian dollars to dirhams because my friend came all the way from Canada. For around 500 cat, we got around 1300 dirhams, and that's not bad. That's actually really good, actually. I was expecting around 1200, but I actually got 1300 right here. And then we went to China Mall. China Mall is known for their fake products. Like all the products which you see over there are imported from China. I mean, obviously, from the name China Mall. But anyway, it's filled with fake shoes fake watches fake clothes like you name it they got it so we went there and saw this these are they even got watches and this my friends is a ap royal lock and they're asking around 60 dirhams it's not mechanical it's actually a battery powered one they even got rados for 60 dirhams <laughs> it's insane imagine spending 250,000 usd for a richard mill when you can get this over here in ue for just 95 dirhams that's insane they even got the mclaren edition they're asking around 95 dirhams for this watch right here they got a lot of richard mills and by the way these are all battery powered not mechanical they've got patek phillips over here as well and this my friends is a patek phillips with an arabic dial on it that is also insane and one watch which actually got my attention is the Omega Moon watches are going for around 50 dirhams. So that is also there. You've got Casios as well. A lot of insane watches. They've got Rolexes on this side as well. So let me know what do you guys think about the watch collection which they got over here. That was the entire collection. But check this out. This row is dedicated for Rolexes. Oh my god. And this is the GMT Pepsi. <laughs> going for around 60 dirhams. So that's actually insane. They've got Cartiers over here as well. Is this Cartier? Yes. But it's light as hell, man. They've got Rados as well. This is the Rado. I forgot what model this is. Let me know in the comments below. Captain. Yeah. A lot of insane watches. And these are all first copy watches imported all the way from China. So that is also there. They've got Ferrari wallets. I'm not sure that even Ferrari released these. They even got fake PS4s and PS5s. Check this out. Okay, so to continue with the vlog right now, I just came to Sukal Mafa to take a look at this piece right here. This, my friends, is a 1989 model Supra NK3. To be honest, I feel like this is one of the most underrated Supras of all time. And fun fact is this, that this car comes with a pop-up light. Let's take a look at that. To be honest, I feel like this is one of the coolest cars they have over here in Dubai. And I feel like there are only less than 30 pieces. If I'm not missing There's a fun story behind the Supra. I actually made a reel about this car about six months ago. Two days after making that reel, this car went into a bad crash and this is the complete makeover after that crash and this is that video. The owner of this car spent around 8k rebuilding this car right here and he's just 20 years old. His name is Afi. So anyway, let's go and meet him. Oh my god, what tent is this? Bro, what do you call this tent? We call this Harari. Harari tent. Yes, it's like a mirror finish and it's crystal clear from the inside. <laughs> That's actually insane. So, bro, tell me. Why did you go for this car right here? Like there are a plenty of there are plenty of other options in the market, but why do you go for a it's Supra all, MK3? This car is budget friendly. Uh huh. And I love the pop-up red lights. It's unique. It's pretty uh -huh. unique, and it's you know very rare. You don't see this much in Dubai. Exactly, and I feel like there are less than thirty pieces over here. Maybe. Maybe, and Absolutely. there are no cars in India. Ah uh, no. <laughs> That's insane, and I feel like Supra MK4. Uh, let's be honest, it's that's pretty overrated. That is the king. It's pretty overrated. It is, but that's the king. Uh, we will never, you know, compare this with an MK4 because the performance and the chassis, everything is different. It's pretty strong. It's, it's solid. Yeah. Solid. And what engine does this car have? It comes with a 7M GE. Uh -huh. uh, this is a non-turbo version. There's a GTE as well. That is the turbo one. It comes with the 1J if I'm not mistaken. That is different. The one that comes after 1989. That comes with the 1J. 1J. And that is stronger as well. Uh, this thing gives me less than 200 horsepower and... Uh, that one, up and down, maybe 30-40 uh, horsepower mode. 30 40 horsepower yeah. mode, and I feel like you have done a plenty of modification on this car yeah. right here. Not engine mods, no, but... No, engine mods. It's just clean, super clean. Super I clean. I the remodeling and everything. And uh -huh. it's just clean. And what color is this? It's, uh, you know, called chocolate brown. Chocolate brown, it looks beautiful. It even comes with roti form, alloy wheels as well. And what wheels are these? It's, uh... Pirelli. It's a run flat uh, sports tires. So it's coming for the Porsche as well, same, same size. As insane. So, anyway, let's go for a drive in this beast right here. Yeah, sure. I'm actually pretty excited. The number plate game which is actually going on on this car. It says 89, 69. 89 is for the manufacturer here and 69 
you know for what <laughs> and it's a dubai classic number plate and i feel like there are a couple of restrictions for classic number plate so bro what are the restrictions of a classic number plate is In it dubai? the same yes nothing what about in sharjah sharjah i think uh, with sharjah classic numbers uh -huh. uh, we can only drive 10000 kilometers per year uh -huh. and in dubai there's nothing as such oh i feel like this is a tourer car <laughs> and if i'm not mistaken it's also a convertible yeah. i mean it's a tugger top yeah it's yeah it's and how do we open it with an allen key we have an allen key and we have four bolts so we use them to remove and keep it in the there's a place for it there's a stand for it ah uh -huh, makes and i like the way how the seats are very comfortable these are cloth seats Pretty if i'm not mistaken yeah, it's uh, velvet and what all is happening over here <laughs> so we have a lot of buttons and you know coin holders and you know it comes with a coin holder and i feel like last time our reel did pretty well because of the coin holder <laughs> oh my god it comes with a automatic transmission what didn't do you opt for a manual one it's cheaper and i thought i'll build it to a manual i'm okay. having plans for it think are the best features of this car see since it's a classic it's you know more than 30 years old it still has cruise control automatic seats and auto lock bro the cruise control car, back in 1989 yeah, it's a exactly. 30 year old car yeah exactly so new cars some cars don't have it uh -huh, so we're doing so much for the thing you know this is cruise control and uh, you know some cars you pay a lot showroom cars they don't have cruise control that's true so wh what are we paying for we should know what we are paying for so this car is something you know i would pay for because i know what i'm doing with it and i know what features it has makes sense makes sense and it's a beautiful car not gonna lie like uh, it's a crowd puller you can call that we can say that <laughs> how much time do you think this car will take for 0 to 60 0 to 100 a lot of time a lot of time mm -hmm. it's not that quick no it's not a turbo engine or it's an old engine bro it's a car for looks but we can try something so anyway let's give it a shot 3 2 1 go Quick, but you feel like it's quick. That's the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Procedures of registering a classic car over here in Dubai. We have to do a classic passing first of all. Uh huh. And How much is it? Can you explain it in? Okay. So uh, for a normal car, uh huh, it's one seventy dirhams. Uh huh. And for a classic car, it's four forty. It's four forty. Yeah, it's it's a little bit extra because you know. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Makes sense. But there's massive respect uh -huh. for the classic plates. They okay. have a good reputation in the boy because it's not every time you see these cars. Makes sense. Another question which I have is, is that do you think this is the best JDM car which you can buy in the market right now no. for the budget? No. What do you hate in this car? Tell me that. The petrol man. Fuel consumption is mad. I found out. It's a three liter inline six. Uh huh. So you know, uh, an old car, uh -huh. this engine. Like the roads, we go in, you know, one twenty, one hundred. The RPM goes. See, it's going in eighty kilometers per hour. The RPM is above two. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. So I feel like you'll get one drum per liter. Huh? Oh, depends. No, <laughs> one drum per kilometer. <laughs> That's insane. And it's a five-speed gear. And, you know, it's speed. You know, new cars come with a lot of gears, eight gears, seven gears. So that gives a pump to the fuel efficiency. Makes sense, makes sense. So, guys, on that note, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys like this video, and let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this piece. And a huge shout out to Afiz as well. I will leave his Instagram link right below in the description. So, anyway, guys, that's a wrap for this video. It's a good one.